Hi, my name is Sarish Sudakran and in this video, we'll analyze the cinematography of Vittorio Storaro. If ever there was a mythology of cinematographer gods, and Gordon Willis is the Prince of Darkness, then Vittorio Storaro is surely the God of Color. He approaches light and color from a standpoint rarely seen, and even rarely demonstrated so beautifully, so powerfully, over many decades of cinematic excellence. He intellectualizes his decisions regarding both, most of which only make sense to him. But the bottom line is, you can't argue with great cinematography. His exterior work is one area where we can find the most common themes. He prefers overcast days and then just fills in if necessary. On modern stock with overcast conditions, you can just raise the exposure by a stop or more. You don't need fill. He also has the urge to get most of his exteriors to look like golden hour, even when they're not. He predominantly uses tungsten halogen fixtures and lens filters to play with color temperature to give most of his work an orange-brown hue. Since digital reproductions rarely do justice to color, I'm just gonna call it the Storaro Golden Hour. You can see he preferred the warm look even in his earliest works. His night exteriors are some of his finest. He really can make night feel like night. You can sense he is most happy when he has shadows to play with. In interiors, he starts with a main light source, the key, and then proceeds to act as if he has never heard of fill light. He doesn't approach lighting from the much abused three-point lighting system, but from his own set of rules. He lays down light like an expensive Persian rug and shoots the entire scene, masters, close-ups and all, in this one virtual light. You get the distinct impression those who are lucky enough to step into his light are blessed. For his close-ups, he leans toward short lighting and split lighting patterns. He is heavily influenced by painters, especially Caravaggio. My personal feeling, and I could be wrong here, is that he really didn't care much about lighting patterns. He had an instinctive eye to make people look good. You can't survive as a cinematographer if you don't know how to make people look stunning. He went further though. He could make them look godlike. His use of windows is well known. It gave him the opportunity to give his lights language and meaning, and most of all, he could allow it to manipulate color. He even used soft and hard lighting sources in an intellectual way. Once the decision was made cerebrally, he rarely changed it, and whatever accidents happened, just happened. I get the distinct impression while watching the movies he has lensed that he is quietly whispering, like Morse code, his interpretation of the story through the medium of light. To him, it really is like a language, one he uses to create meaning and depth. Now let's talk about color. His usage of color is, in my opinion, Vittorio Storaro's greatest contribution to cinematography. He was bold, and he used it with purpose. He used primary colors and secondary colors. Even when he had to contend with a desaturated image, he found ways to get in color sideways. He worked with labs intimately to get the kind of exposure, blacks and colors he wanted. He was also famous for using a large array of dimmers so he could control lights like an orchestra. Much has been made about this, though I feel it came out of necessity in accordance to the kind of sets he had to work with. Later on, he preferred working that way, knowing the level of control he could get. Also, he worked quickly, intellectualize a lot, and then act with purpose. That's his style. Pure, uncomplicated lighting with lots of purpose. When it came to focal lens, camera moves, and blocking, he rarely interfered with the director's vision. He worked with strong-willed and great directors who had ideas of their own. Still, he used both primes and zooms, and rarely wides. Mostly standard and telephoto lenses. They were almost always rehoused cook lenses from Technovision. His influence is so great that Roscoe gels have a series of 10 color filters made under his strict specifications and named after him, the Storaro Collection. I hope this brief video makes you curious enough to learn more about the brilliant cinematography of Vittorio Storaro, winner of three Academy Awards and counting. The best way to know more is watch documentaries made about him, his interviews, most of which you'll find on YouTube and from articles in the American Cinematographer magazine and elsewhere. He's also written books you can buy and has a personal website, storarovittorio.com, though I doubt it's been updated in a while. 
If there's a favorite cinematographer whose work you want analyzed, let me know. To see more videos like this one, please subscribe. There's lots more on the way. Bye now.